our trip started in Geelong. It was one last pee for Puggy and then on the boat. They certainly don't leave much room between trucks and caravans and vehicles. Everything is squeezed in within inches. In the morning we arrived in Devonport and were greeted to a very thick sea fog which carried right across the uh, northern coast. Fortunately when we came back this way later we were able to see the coastline unencumbered with fog. Our journey took us down the Tarkine Drive, which covered the northwest of the rugged northwest coast of Tasmania. There is nothing that lies between the northwest coast at the edge of the world and the coast of Argentina. The coastline is littered with logs and timber, uh, all here in pine that has been washed down out of the rivers and into the ocean over the many, many years that logging has been undertaken in this area. It was at Lake Chisholm that I thought I had encountered the Tassie Devil. Unfortunately, it turned out to just be a spotted quoll, although perhaps not unfortunate because the spotted quoll is also a protected species and fairly rare. We picked a day when the sea fog had cleared to come back to Wynyard and see the uh, tulip fields. Sadly, however, they'd all been ploughed under, even though the Tulip Festival wasn't due for another two weeks. We read somewhere that the bulk of the tulip harvest actually gets exported back to Amsterdam. Waratah was one of our overnight stops on the way through to Strawn. It was a lovely uh, historical little village that had once upon a time been the centre of the tin mining industry. Similarly, Zeehan uh, was a, another stop on our trip. It was once known as Silver City and Tasmania's third largest settlement during its mining heyday. Get that out of 
Well, we're racing down the Kelly Channel now, and it's a very narrow and shallow channel. Our cruise on the Gordon River took us to the uh, entrance of the harbour known as Hell's Gate, a place named by the convicts who were brought through this narrow entrance on their way to the penal settlement at Sarah Island, a place reserved for the worst of the worst. Sarah Island uh, is better known as a convict settlement. Leaving Sarah Island, our cruise continued up the mighty Gordon River, a uh, pristine part of wilderness, where we could see that originally there had been a lot of hue and pine logged in this area. Uh, hue and pine is now no longer able to be logged, but uh, there are permits available for a collection of the timber which is floating, and there's plenty of that. Hue and pine is uh, remarkable timber for boat building in that it is naturally water resistant and uh, rot resistant. Uh, as a consequence, uh, the pine logs can be submerged underwater for decades at a time and uh, then withdrawn and dried out and still used for boat building. <laughs> 